Operators and maintainers from the 127th Wing's Air Refueling Group completed a round of training days last week designed to give on-the-job experience for its new members, as well as furnish the skills of its full-time and drill status guardsmen. So in addition to the agile combat employment training that we've been doing all summer, such as our hot pit refueling leading the way there and our wet wing defuels that we've done during Northern Agility 22-1 and 2, we are also doing a mass surge exercise within our own refueling group to bring in our traditional guardsmen and our full-time guardsmen and a lot of our new folks that are just coming back from school that haven't seen some of these things before to train all together. And we're going to get a lot of KC-135s airborne all at the same time to practice for our combat and contingency operations. First day we're going to start with a three-ship formation refueling some F-16s. The second day, a four-ship formation, uh, really dynamic. We're going to take off, go refuel a C-17, push north into a military operating area, and refuel some of the 127's A-10s. And then after that, we're going to recover as a, a four-ship back into Selfridge for a, a tactical arrival, tactical overhead back here. Day three will be another three-ship formation, refueling another set of receivers, and it's really good training for everybody in the whole air refueling group. Comprised of the 171st Air Refueling Squadron and 191st Maintenance Squadron, the 127th Air Refueling Group has operated with the KC-135 Stratotanker since 2007, providing aerial refueling, air mobility, and expanding global reach for the United States Air Force. For the 127th Public Affairs Office, I am Staff Sergeant Drew Schumann.